Now, President Muhammadu Buhari says his administration will continue to meet the needs of those affected by conflict in all parts of the country so as to give them a sense of belonging. The president spoke at a one-day working visit to Maduguri, the Borno state capital, to commemorate this year's World Humanitarian Day. TVC News' Jesse Tafida reports. This is the third visit by President Mohamed Buhari in one year after that of the June 17th and 23rd December in 2021. This time around, the president is visiting the state to unveil a spatial food distribution to families displaced by Boko Haram insurgency. This gesture is in commemoration of the 2022 World Humanitarian Day with its theme, It Takes a Village, with special focus on survivors of conflicts. The government will continue to support those most in need for as long as it takes, while working closely with development partners to improve the resilience of vulnerable populations. I hope to see more of our leaders' commitment. The Messi and his staff, together with our stakeholders and the entire humanitarian community, will all work assiduously and tirelessly to ensure that the vision we have for the coordination and efficient management of humanitarian affairs, disaster management and social development is realized. Borno State appreciates the international community, the development partners, and all international and national non-governmental organizations who have been here helping us and supporting the airport to give people hope in the midst of the great misery brought about by the insurgency. Mr. President, we all desperately want to see an end to this terrible human-made crisis. We will continue to advocate for a safe and secure operational environment. Away from the Humanitarian Day commemoration, President Muhammad Buhari inaugurated some infrastructural project in Maiduguri. The teachers' quarters Bulum Kutu, which comprise of 24 units of furnished two-bedroom flats in six blocks of story building, was the first to be commissioned. Another 500 houses built by the federal government in Malay community was also inaugurated by the president to fast track the resettlement drive of the state government. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.